But my dear ladies, in all these stories, I also witness the courage of the young girls and women who despite everything have found the strength to rebuild their lives, to take care of their children and families, who fight every day with the horrors they have lived and never have given up. Women who encourage each other to survive and to tell each other that they are the heroines of our society, because indeed they are. It is their strength and their courage which gives me hope that their pledge for national and international recognition of the crime, their pledge for justice, and their pledge for a life in peace will be heard. At this summit, let's advocate for the concrete action in decision-making forms. We must push for the increased women's representation in peace process, peace negotiation, resources for women-led initiatives, and gender-sensitive policies. <laughs> to make this vision a reality, we all have a duty, and that duty is to act, to demand justice, and to ensure a brighter future for each and every one of us.